Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, heavyweights, baby, we know Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder had a fight, and it's going to be residue. Now, the other dude, Anthony Joshua, got three titles. The one we know that didn't really want to fight Deontay Wilder when it was time. Could have happened in September. Anybody believe anything otherwise is out there. Really out there. Earth calling. But, but, finally, because you know Anthony Joshua, he should have been at that fight. Everybody else who was somebody in the heavyweight division, past, present, and future was there, right? But <clears throat> he didn't show up. He was in my land somewhere doing some commercial stuff. But let me tell y'all something. I know he ain't been really going to fight Deontay Wilder for two years. I've been listening to him speaking for two years. He was saying, you know, back then in 2017, early, you know, we'll fight him in 2018, 19. Now, he say 18, but it could be 19. It could be 20. He was saying that back then, right? And everybody act like they didn't sell that. But when Eddie Hearn was saying, hey, we can fight it right away. Anthony Joshua had a different opinion. Way back then, people ignore all of that, right? So basically, it's not Eddie Hearn here. I think it's Anthony Joshua. But okay. Now he's getting froggy. Because let me tell you, for I've seen a tweet. I think it was a tweet. I'm going to put it in the description box. And the tweet, he was saying something like, what took this fool so long? I guess he's talking to Deontay Wilder like that. Oh, it's on. What took this fool so long? Like, we ain't been interested. Okay. <laughs> Let me just tell you, I don't know neither one of these brothers personally, but let me just tell you something. You talk to Deontay Wilder like that, he might be at your door, okay? You, 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 talk, <laughs> you talk to Deontay Wilder like that, don't think a pond is too far beyond, okay? Because that is the kind of language that we're expecting. That, that might be on, because see, Deontay Wilder has already stated, because people are saying, well, you know, even Tyson Fury has said, Deontay Wilder doesn't won't, won't want to fight me again. I'm going to be fitter and this and that. Now I come to find out Deontay Wilder then broke his arm 12 weeks before the fight. So he thinks he's going to be fitter. And so if people are saying he don't want to fight Tyson Fury, he's like, well, no, I want Fury first. Deontay ain't running from no challenges. I want Fury first. But if Andy Josh were talking like that, what he say? What took this fool so long? Like we ain't been interested? Let me tell y'all something. Without knowing Deontay Wilder, that's on you better be able to back that up. That is on. Right? You, you can fight yesterday. Now, watch what I tell you. Because of that tweet right there, that's the most strongest thing I heard from Deontay Wilder in two years when it regarded, uh, at, uh, from Anthony Joshua regarding Deontay Wilder in two years. That's strong. If he was talking to Deontay Wilder, let's hope he's talking to somebody else, a spar partner or something. Because if that was good, uh, towards Deontay Wilder, that fight would be on in a minute. Right, as soon as Deontay Wilder, well, I don't know about any answer. Without knowing an answer, that is strong language to be told to Deontay Wilder. Now, of course, Tyson Fury wants Joshua as well. So this is a little round robin. It seems like everybody want to fight now. You know, things that, you know, because uh, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder has got a lot of press. They had a good fight. You know, people are talking about it, negative or positive, but they are talking about it. All of the legends were there. So it took some shine. Everybody ain't worried about it. No, everybody didn't run to England, did they? Right in L.A. Everybody didn't run to England. Everybody was in the Staples Center. So it was popping. Okay? So now, yeah, AJ, you should have been there. So now you really, really want to fight now, somebody? Now you can fight either one of them. I would be happy with either one of them. I don't really, you know, I told you how I feel about Deontay Wilder versus uh, <clears throat> Anthony Joshua. I don't really care about that one. You know, if it happens, cool. But I don't, I don't think Deontay Wilder don't be giving up too much, nothing. No more flat rates and nothing. If they talk to you like that, whatever. Don't even talk to them. I wouldn't. Period. Come up with a decent off offer we can holler. If not, Tyson Fury and an old boy can fight. And the British does stuff. If not, <clears throat> Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury can have that rematch, which is what everybody seems to want to see anyway. So it's going to be interesting going forward. I just thought that was some very strong language from Anthony Joshua in Deontay Wilder's direction, which has never been so far, and definitely not in his face, but it's never been so far, which is enough to start something. Trust me. Dome Sports Talk. Worldwide. And I'm up out of here, y'all.